Hello my friends, so today we are going to figure out the, what is the MovieDB API, how we use this API. So to know that, uh, first we are going to the website of the MovieDB by clicking in here and we come in here. First to use this API, we need to get that API key. So to get that API key, we need to log in. So if you didn't sign up in here yet, so first we need to sign up. So we will write the name, username, and then we will type the password. And we will like write the email. And then click the sign up button. So I will type the, my username again, and then password, and login. So now we came in here to get the API key. So we first click this profile and settings button and then we click the settings. And if we come down in here, so there is the API button. So click this one and we can see this click here. So we click this one and then we are just a developer. So click this developers. And scroll down and down and down and click this accept. So I type everything that was required before and then I came in here. So now we have our API keys in here. So we will copy this one and then we will put this one inside our text editors. If you see in here, so inside a component and there is a file named config.js. We will define that in here, export the const, so the API key, so the paste it in here. And so we also need to define more variables in here. So the next things that we need to define is, so if we come in here, so this is the way how we request some API in here. I want to just copy this one and then paste it and then I will replace this one with the API I just got and then I'll put it in here. So I got all of the information about the specific movie. So this is the way how we send it, send the request to this API. So if we see the different one, maybe uh, I will click this movie, get account state. And then I click this, try it out. It come down so if we just send this request we can get the information about this movies account state and if I just click this get keywords and then click this try it out and then if I use this URL to send the request I will get the information about this keyword so this is the how we use the the movie DB API and if we come back in here, so there is some the common parts that we need to write for the URL. Now that is the HTTPS API and dot movie dot org slash three. This is the same parts we need to type for uh, making the request. So we will make this one as a variable in here. So export const. API URL. So we copy and paste it in here. Uh, and there is uh, some more things that we need to define in here. So the thing is the so when we the, get the image from that API, so you can see in here more in detail. So the way is that we just type this URL https and image and td tmdb org and t slash and p and after that this will be the size of the image and after this one did uh, that will be just the name of that image so this part is uh, always the same url we need to type so we will get this one as a variable again in here so export and const image url like this so now we did all the configuration for the movie db api in the text editor before finishing this section so i want to fetch the movie 
data by latest by using this URL. So first I'm going to landing page. And I come back to text editor. I will go to landing page and in here by using the use effect and delete the unnecessary parts. So in here uh, I will do fetch. First one's the input that will be just this URL. I just configure this URL in here. I need to import this one from here. Import API URL from config. And then I put this one in here. Movie popular API key. I also need to bring the API key and language will be English and we also specify the page which will be one after doing that we will get the response and then we need to make this one as JSON and we will get the response again now we will see which kind of response we got from this fetch so I just save it and then first I need to just run this application to make sure what this response is npm run dev okay I didn't infer this use effect in here from the React library so I will just put it in here so, so save it and come back to our application and I will turn on the console and just uh, if I click this one, so we fetched a lot of data so about the movies the, from the movie DB API. So like all of the movie information by latest. So works really fine. So thank you for watching this video and see you in our next video. Thank you.